It was going on peeps. So now that NVIDIA GTC 21 is over with, what we're gonna be looking at today is NVIDIA DLSS. So DLSS is nothing new, it was out 4.26 a couple of months back but they just added 5.0 and 4.27 support additionally they did add the movie render queue and that's what we're going to be looking at today okay so to get this you can either go to the developer nvidia website or just go to the epic marketplace look at nvidia dlss and then go to the external link and that's going to take you to this web page right here and if you're not signed up for this you can sign up for it it's for free uh eventually i'm hoping that they will put this in here so we don't have to go to the external link but for now this is how you're gonna have to install it so go here go right here uh down here you're gonna see ue5 4.27 like i said 4.26 came out a couple months back so i went ahead and downloaded 4.27 because this is really where i'm working right now and then ue5 is where i render so uh, for this example we're gonna be using 4.27 we we'll go ahead and download that and you're gonna get a zip file go ahead and unzip this and basically all you have to do is go to the zipped folder and copy the first two copy this and we're going to put this in our engine All right so go to epic games 4.27 engine and then plugins and then we're going to go to runtime and then we're going to find nvidia somewhere right here and let's go ahead and copy and paste both of these right here. You're going to see DLSS and DLSS movie pipeline. All right, so once you have your project open, you just go to edit plugins and you get to type in DLSS and we're going to turn on both and then restart. All right. Okay. So here we go. We went and restarted and let's see if the LSS could DLSS is here. But what I'm curious about is the MRQ. So I'm going to go to level sequence one. Got this thing prepared here. I'm going to delete this because it's the old sequence. Camera, new binding. And I'm going to render from 400 to 560. And that should be good there. Maybe I'll just make it a little bit tighter. I'm just trying to get a good, and I can't, man, I can't wait till that bug is like fixed. Okay, so we're going to go 400 to about 560, which is kind of like right here. So we're going to MRQ sequence one config, and you're now going to see this DLSS here. We're going to go with quality for now. I'm going to create a new folder here, already desktop DLSS quality select, and we'll do like... 2560 by 1440, 1440p, 30 frames per second. And then we will go with 400, 560. I'm not going to change anything else so we can kind of, you know, get a nice benchmark here. So accept. And I'm going to go back in there and it's going to double check that right here. So go to output. And you're going to see we should have something right here. DLSS. Okay, good. So I'm going to press render local. And see what happens got some blueprint errors but it has nothing to do with dlss okay so that rendered at 37 seconds and now what i'm going to do is i'm gonna set this to none and i'm gonna name this to none and we're gonna do the same exact thing and i'm gonna delete it pretty much turn it off and see what this looks like yeah 37 okay we're going to check out the quality of that and see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and break this real quick. Because, you know, that's what we do. I'm going to go to create a new folder. I'm going to do 4K. And we'll do uh, 3, oops, Shiza. 3840 by 2160. And again, we're going to do DLSS. And we're going to do quality. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. Import JPEG sequence. That's none. We'll get the quality one. Let's open this one first. Now this is quality. Let's pick a good frame here. Okay, that's pretty good. This one right here, which is 128. So this is with DLSS on, and I'm gonna drop the one up top, and that's none. So this is with DLSS, this is without. You can really see the difference there. It's a little bit sharper, right? Because it's kind of like upscaling DLSS. It's, it upscales it a little. Now, if whenever you have DLSS on, it looks like there's less noise. But I feel like there's also less depth of field. You can see this is blurry here because it's set to none. And this isn't blurry because it's set to DLSS. 
So I think it's not compatible with any depth of field per se. So that's that. At least cinematic ones. Of, I think I read it somewhere that it's not. So I'm going to go to a 4K none. And then we're going to also grab the 4K quality. And as you all saw, the rendering time was about the same. But the quality uh, is the one that changes. So let me go ahead and click this and drag this here. And I think it was 118. 128, I mean. Right here. So this is with none again. And then go put this on top with the quality. And you'll see the sharpness again there. Pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. So there is a trade-off of the depth of field versus, you know, quality. Because you can really see the difference. This is with it on and this is with it off. Interesting. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a couple more tests about this. I don't know if, I mean, if depth of field is not going to be supported, this is going to be a hard sell for me. So yeah, let me know what y'all think and go ahead and play around with it and see what you can find. But it looks like, I mean, it, it looks good to me with DLSS on, gives you a little bit more sharpness in there. But again, you do have that trade-off.